and every negative comment and every warranty claim and every person who doesn't buy and every referral that you lose and everything that goes wrong is an opportunity for you to fix it. And it's okay for these things to go wrong as long as you use the opportunity to actually fix it. When it's the fifth time, the tenth time, when six months have gone by, when a year has gone by and you haven't done anything about it, that's when you're losing. That's when you're failing. Everyone says that you have to focus on value, but it's really hard for us to be able to figure out what that means as entrepreneurs. We are, we are inside of it. We are close to it. We understand what we're doing and why it's important. And we struggle to explain it to people. And, and we struggle to understand why they don't see value in it. I see so much value in what I'm doing. It makes so much sense. Of course it's needed. Of course my product, my service, everything I'm doing makes sense, but it makes sense to me because I'm inside of it. That's the thing with value. It makes sense to you what you're doing. You gotta get comfortable with the fact that the value that you wanna drive isn't in your control. It's up to the person that you're marketing or selling or speaking to. It's their, what they think is valuable. You may think it's valuable, but if they don't think it's valuable, they're not gonna buy. So figure out what they value and do more of it better than anyone else. I don't think we focus on it enough. I think we think about brand and marketing and strategy and tactics. I think we think about all those kinds of things, but you know, everyone's like, you just need to drive more value. You wanna charge more, drive more value. How do we do that? Focus on what the people want. Focus on what's meaningful to them. Focus on whether you're good enough or not and give them so much that you question, how can I do all of this for this price? Like, <laughs> if you're giving them so much value that you're like, how, it's a no-brainer. You need to ask yourself some really tough questions. We start by asking ourselves, what would it take to have every person in our target audience group, every person in America, every person in Canada, what would it take to have every single person that we wanna have one of these, have one of these? Like, what would it take? Would it take $100 million? Would it take a kick-ass marketing campaign? Would it take a Super Bowl ad? What would it take to have every single person in our group have one of these? And the next question is, what do we have to do to make this a complete no-brainer? What kind of product, what kind of service does it, will it take in order to get, have everyone have one of these? And what do we have to do to make this a no-brainer? Would you pay $1,000 to make a million dollars? If it was guaranteed, that's a no-brainer. Seems too good to be true, it must be a scam, probably is. But if it was real, you would do it. It's a no-brainer. Would you pay $50 to save yourself a day of time? Let's say there's a giant lineup at the airport. All the flights are canceled, but for an extra 50 bucks, you could be the only people to get out tonight. Would you pay that 50 bucks? It's a no-brainer. What do you have to do to be able to make it a no-brainer? These are the types of questions that start to lead to more value creation within your product, within your service, within your company. And it feels like, well, you know, in the airport example, 50 bucks is worth so much more than 50 bucks. Of course it is, it's not the point. You're not trying to come up with the number, you're trying to come up with the mindset and the attitude to start driving more value. If you ran a bakery or a pharmacy, would free delivery make all the difference in the world? You know, someone wakes up, 6 a.m., oh, what's that smell? Oh. It's your fresh baked goods waiting for you at the door the way the milkman used to wait for things, right? What kind of bakery does that? Do you have margins to support that? Can you even, do, like, it doesn't matter. It makes it kind of a no-brainer if, if you could do some kind of subscription, fresh baked goods system, like it starts to drive more value. Every single person can think in these terms. You, you, could, you could apply it to your relationships, you can apply it to dating, I don't know much about Tinder because I've been married for 15 years, but you can apply it there, I'm sure. You can apply value creation to everything you do because all it is at the end of the day is giving more of yourself. And when you are facing people who don't want to work with you, people who don't want to give you a chance, people who won't buy your product, people who give you bad reviews, or they say don't buy this product, buy that product, you can't help but feel like that's a personal attack on, on who you are, on what you're doing. Every project that I don't get is them telling me that Mark isn't good enough. Every time that someone writes a review on your Amazon store that says, this is garbage, don't buy this, it's an attack on you. It's really hard to face the fact that your product might not be good enough, your service may not be good enough, the value you drive, people just aren't willing to pay for. But what's the alternative? 
right? Like you have to face it. You have to, you have to face it and make the decision as to whether those reviews are real or fake. And if they're real, you better face it. You better use those to fire you up to make your product better. When someone decides not to work with you, it's not gonna fire you up so that way next time, when that person comes, when that opportunity comes, you are the person who wins it. Everything that happens to you can be seen in two ways. It's either a negative, it's either the world conspiring against you, it's either the end of the world, it's either a loss or it's an opportunity. Because once you face the fact that, you know what, I thought I was driving value, and the reason why people won't pay what I think I'm worth is because I haven't driven enough value means that that's an opportunity to fix it. And every negative comment and every warranty claim and every person doesn't buy and every referral that you lose and everything that goes wrong is an opportunity for you to fix it. And it's okay for these things to go wrong as long as you use the opportunity to actually fix it. When it's the fifth time, the tenth time, when six months have gone by, when a year has gone by and you haven't done anything about it, that's when you're losing. That's when you're failing. And what I've learned quite recently is there's this really weird thing with value. I was talking to a client the other day. People can buy the product for $10 and they sell the product for $24. And they're saying, oh, it's really tough to get people to pay $24 for something that they can buy for $10. I, I understand that. <laughs> like, are you gonna, I understand that challenge. You're gonna pay $24 for the exact same thing as $10? Probably not. So even though what they're selling is worth $24, and it's actually better than the $10 option, there's not enough high perceived value. There's just not enough value that they're driving to warrant paying a very fair price of $24 when you can get the cheap price of $10. Now, when they make their product $40, and they make their product better, and they make their brand better, and they make their packaging better, and they make everything about what they're doing better, suddenly people are willing to spend $40 on a product. It's not about the fact that 24 was fair. 24 was fair, but there's others doing something very similar for 10. So are you gonna go down to 10? Or are you gonna drive more value? Are you gonna make your product better? Are you gonna make the experience better? Are you gonna do everything in a better way? And that better way costs more money, so are you gonna charge more? That's the question. You have gifts, you have skills, you have talents, you have things that you are great at. And so just give more of that to the world. I'm sure I can clean that up. That's it. <laughs>